Hello, good afternoon, Marvin. Good afternoon, Maximiliano. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Good. Excellent. That's good. Good, good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon, Marvin. Welcome. Okay, so today, um, well, basically, we only have three more classes left, which is today, tomorrow, and Saturday, right? And then we okay. finished. We're done. So I'm waiting for your classmates because they are supposed to be here because it's three already, but they are coming, I'm guessing, right? So um, thank you very much for your punctuality. I always appreciate that you are here on time because you know the class is from three to five, so we have to, to go with the schedule, okay? Welcome, Roberto. Welcome to the class. How are you doing, Roberto? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Roberto. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. Good to know. So welcome to the class. Um, We're going to start today uh, with the unit 12. <gasps> Sorry, espérenme, aquí estoy viendo que es otro. Estoy el grupo. A otro grupo es el que manda el mensaje. ¿Y a dónde está el grupo de ustedes? Oh, aquí está, ya lo vi. Ok, les, les mandé al otro grupo el mensaje. <ríe> oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I was sending a message to the other group. Okay, anyway, so thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna go with section four and section five. These three days, right, we are going to do a review of the platform as well, because I would like to have the platform completed by tomorrow, okay? So the last day, we don't have anything to do with the platform. Okay, so um, I don't know if you already finished the platform. No sé si ya terminaron la plataforma. If you did, excellent, congratulations. If you yeah. haven't, we're going to work on that today, okay? Okay. Let's see, let's go with the class. Okay, so we, in the last class, we were talking a little bit about adjectives, right? We talk about adjectives, how to describe people, and how to talk about height, how to talk about uh, uh, the hair, how to talk about everything that is related with uh, people, right? We did this conversation. ¿Sí hicimos esta conversación? Yeah, we did it with you? Que tengo dos yes. Cosas. Okay, okay. So we were talking that about she's very tall, which is an adjective, right? Being tall is an adjective. And we also had a uh, pimos... No, recuérdenme si con ustedes vimos el orden de los adjetivos. ¿Cuál, que primero se habla de opinión, segundo se habla de... ¿Sí vimos eso? Sí, sí lo no? vimos. Okay. Tenemos un cuadrito de eso. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That, that, that thing that I was asking for. So, yeah. so eh, talking about that, just like making a review about it, because, you know, we have different adjectives and we have to say them in order. It's not like in Spanish, right? Because I think in Spanish, we don't have an exact order for the adjectives, but in English we do. So it's very important to remember that. I think the square, like the chart that uh, the classmates talking about, let me share the screen with you. So this is the chart, right? So the first that we talk about opinion, that like we say the determiner, uh, the, these, those, right? Then we talk about opinion, size, shape, age, color, origin, material, purpose, and noun. Finally, we say what we are describing, right? For example, if I want to describe myself, decir que soy salvadoreña, pero quiero decir all my adjectives first, I can say, I'm a 
let's see. Um, uh, beautiful. <laughs> thank you. I'm a beautiful size or uh, like heart, eh, medium high. I think I'm medium height. Just I think I'm medium height. Uh, I'm I'm a beautiful medium height. Uh, young maybe. I'm a little yeah. I'm a, I'm young. Young. Uh, Salvadorian. I wanna say right. Salvadorian. Okay. So like that. I can say that about myself and I'm respecting the order that we are supposed to have, right? First, I'm going to talk about the opinion. Then I'm going to talk about my size or shape. And I can say like, if I am small, if I'm medium height. Also, I could have uh, added here chubby, right? Remember that we were talking in the last class. What is the meaning of chubby? Do you remember the meaning of shabby? Yes. What is shabby? Is uh, is someone that is not fat, mm -hmm. but not a uh, thin. Yeah, is correct. It the middle. It's, it's in between, right? Like we would like to say it in 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 a I don't know cute way, una forma buena sería rellenito, right? <laughs> That's what we will say. Okay, excellent. So yes, in this case, I'm respecting the order, opinion, size, shape, age, or like, yeah. And then I'm saying young, like the age, and then I'm saying Salvadorian. If I can add any of these other things, I would, but um, I cannot add any of those things about myself. Okay, so this is like a review of the last thing we did. And uh, we're going to go in the platform as well with this. We also have here, let's see, what is it? A topic for today, which is, uh, which one is it that is talking about, uh, wait a minute, modifiers. Okay, we're going to talk about modifier as well. And also we had the questions. Hicimos entrevistas, por ejemplo, como decir qué tan alto eres y todo eso. Um, we have some questions about that. Then let me show you the video. Then we continue. We're going to go with the platform today. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like for age-related questions. So do you remember we did an interview with these questions? Yeah? Yes. Like, what it do you look like? Activity. Right? What is it, Maximiliano? It was the last activity. The last activity we did. Okay. Yes, of course. Okay. So here we go with the next part that is going to be the knowledge check. I hope that you're working on this. If not, we're going to work together in this moment. So in the instructions, says write questions to match these statements. So the first one, we have the, the well, we have the answers, but we need to have the questions, right? Uh, according to the answer. So it says, my brother is 26 years old. So obviously the question is, what would be the question? Oh, 
How old, How old is he? How old is he? I don't know if it is he or my brother. And I don't know if I have to write the question mark. Let's check. Okay, so it says not correct. How old is your brother? How old is your brother, right? But I don't know if I have to add the question mark. No. No? Okay, yeah, that is correct. Because she's talking about the brother, so we have the subject. So I am 173 centimeters. So that is? How? What tall are how you? How tall is, she, is he? How tall are you? Because they are talking about me in the answer, right? How tall are yeah. you? Let's check. Yeah, correct. Let's go with the next one. He's tall and very good looking. So I'm saying an opinion about a person, it seems like. So what would be the question? What does he look like? What does he look like? What does he look like? Okay. Let's go with number four. My sister, we have that subject, right? My sister's hair is medium length. How long is your sister's hair? Exactly. How long is your sister? It's at the, oh, wait a minute. How long is your sister's hair? Yeah. Next. I'm 40 years old. So I'm, they are asking about the age. So what is the question to ask about age? How old are you? How old are you? Oh, sorry. How old are you? Excellent. So they are nice, beautiful, and very tall. So we're talking about they. So what is the question? What are they? What are they like? What are they like? Okay, perfect. And now we're talking about the height, but about feet. So what is the question? How tall is he? How tall is he? Let's check them. Oh, we got one incorrect. Oh, sorry. My mistake. It was a finger mistake. Excellent, we got it. Okay, so now we'll have your participation. So I'm gonna ask you to read the question and the answer, okay? So Maximiliano, can you help me with number one, please? Question and answer. Okay. How old is your brother? My brother is 26 years old. Excellent, Roberto Lemus, number two, please. How tall are you? I'm 100. Seven three. See, I'm centimeters. Centimeters. Okay. Say, I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Tito Alvarenga, please. And uh, what does he look like? He's tall and very good looking. Excellent. Thank you, Marvin. Number four, please. How long is your sister's? Hire my sister. Hire is medium length. Can you repeat this word? Hire. Hair. Hair. Yeah, excellent. Uh, let's go back with you, Maximiliano. Number five, please. How old are you? I'm 40 years old. Good job. Roberto? What, what are they like? They are nice. Beautiful and very tall. Excellent. Uh, Tito, seven, please. It is how tall is he? He's um, 100. 118. 80. 80. Thank you. 80. Uh, and how do you say centimeters? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Excellent, you guys. Let's go with the next one. And here we have a listening, it seems like, listening exercise. So we're going to listen to something here to answer the next questions, okay? Let's see. 
Page 60. Exercise 4. Listening. Who is it? Part A. Listen to descriptions of five people. Number them from one to five. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. 2. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. 3. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. 4. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. 5. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Page 60. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. How old is each person? 1. I think Brian's good-looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. 2. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. 3. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. 4. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. 5. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay, we're going to listen one more time. Page 60. Exercise 4. Listening. Who is it? Part A. Listen to descriptions of five people. Number them from one to five. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. 3. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. 4. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. 5. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Page 60. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. How old is each person? 1. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall, with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. 2. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. 3. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. 4. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. 5. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay.
Let's give the answers. I think Brian's good looking. Good looking. Okay. He is very tall. What is it? Pretty, Pretty tall. tall. Pretty tall. Okay. He has dark brown hair and a mustache. Mustache. I think that is the correct one, right? Kevin dice no me puedo conectar al wife. That is mustache. I don't know. Remind me. I don't know. Without oh. Yeah, right. Mustache. Yes. Mustache. The mustache. Well, Google say it. It can write it the. The de las dos formas. Form. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But That's in the platform I... only accept. Okay. Without the O. Okay. Without the without the U or the O. O. Without the O. So it's mustache. Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> After all with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 because uh, I, I remember it's mustache. Okay, anyways. Tina's 18. She's got... Red hair. Correct. Her cho he she has shoulder length hair and very... Curly. 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 And she's always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Rosie is... Pretty tall. Pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. And wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Tim's about 23. He's hair. Oh yeah, long blonde hair. Sorry. Yes. Tim's about 23. He's Fairly short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Okay, and a bit? Heavy. Heavy. His hair isn't very long. Alice is? Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. <laughs> and she's got black hair. She's around 25. And oh, she is very? Slim. slim slim she looks like a fashion model okay so you're gonna help me read information you're gonna read uh we're gonna start with maximiliano maximiliano you're gonna read all of brian's information okay 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 i think brian's good looking he's pretty tall he has dark brown hair and a mustache he's about 30 Excellent, thank you. Roberto, can you please read Tina's information? Roberto, since this part until Tina's Tina Tina is 18. She's got red hair. She has shoulder length hair and very curly. And she always she always wear interesting glasses just for fun fun just for fun okay Juan Carlos Padilla can you read Rosie's information the microphone is off yeah. Rosie. Rose, Rose, Rose is pretty tall for her age she has long blonde hair and wears contact lens. Lenses. She just lenses. She just turned ten. Excellent. Good job. Uh, Marvin, can you read Tim's information, please? Tim's about twenty-three. Twenty-three. He's fairly short. And a bit heavy, he's heavy. A bit heavy. His height isn't very long. Repeat this word again. Hair. 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 Okay. 
Tito Alvarenga, can you please read Alice's information? Alice is very tall and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay, you guys, taking those examples, taking those examples, okay? We're gonna go work in groups and you're gonna write a description about your classmates. So imagine, I am working, for example, with Roberto. I'm gonna ask Roberto his information, and then I'm gonna write a short explanation about him. For example, Roberto is, and he tell me his age. He is, are you tall, Roberto? How, how, how tall are you? No, no medium. Medium? So like, um, He's medium hype, okay. So I can say, so Roberto is, how old are you? 50. So Roberto is 50 years old. Roberto is medium hype. Okay, so I write information about him. Yes? Do you get it? You get it, guys? Vamos a ir a escribir información de nuestros compañeros, así como los ejemplos que acabamos de ver, okay? Y cuando vengamos aquí, cada quien me va a decir la información de un compañero. Si están en un grupo de tres, pues se dividen los tres la información de, de otro. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Okay. Yeah? ok. Excellent. So we're going to go to two groups. And... Ok. Let's go. Ahí estamos.
Ay, hombre. Ya, pero no me arruñé. Okay, let's see. So you were working. So first we have the group number one. We had Marvin, Roberto, and Tito. Okay. 
So Marvin, you start. Tell me the description of one of your classmates. Teacher, nosotros no, no hicimos porque estuvimos tratando de compartir ahí y no, no pudimos tener el cuadro ahí para, para hacerlo. Se lo fue el tiempo ahí en... Oh, ok. ¿Y lo, Juan Carlos y Maximiliano, yes? Yes. Yes. Tell me your activity, ok? Ok. okay. Uh, Max is short and black hair. He is pretty tall. He is slender. He is 35 years old. And he is friendly and talkative. That's oh, all. Okay, that's amazing. Excellent. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Maximiliano, what about you? Okay. JC has short gray hair. He is pretty tall. He is slender and he is 45 years old. He looks serious, but he's pretty talkative. Okay, amazing. Thank you very much, you guys. Okay, so Marvin, Roberto, and Tito didn't have the time to do it. Yes, right. I need time. Okay, okay. Well, that's okay. It's okay. You, you don't worry about it, okay? So we're just trying to do an activity like where we can share and talk about our classmates, right? And we did already like physical descriptions about ourselves. We already talked how we are, right? So let's go now with a conversation we have there in the in the platform as well, which is which one is she, right? Let's listen to the conversation and then I'm gonna repeat the, like the, the words for you for pronunciation. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, now I'm going to say the pronunciation. As you listen okay. to the conversation, try to... Listen, listen, aquí, we have number aquí. Okay, there, there we go. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. Couldn't, right? She couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay? So I'm gonna say one more time, I'm gonna send you the audio so you can go and practice. Hi, Raul, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert 
with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, we ready? I think it's not complicated, right? Let me send you the picture to the WhatsApp group. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. Let's go and practice the conversation, okay? Let's see, okay. we're gonna go. Yeah, that's okay. Teacher, teacher, are you there? Teacher, are you there? Teacher, teacher, are you there? Teacher,
Hello, you guys. What happened, Marvin, Carlos, and Tito? Teacher, uh -huh. este, el, el que me puso, puso conmigo se salió. Al parecer tiene falla de internet. Ok, me too, pero aquí teacher, está I, I Tito. Have... Me too, teacher, I have problems and I connect. Disculpe, teacher, fíjese que a mí cuando le di clic para reunirme con, eh, para hacer el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El rol, el rol no. Ajá, okay. eh, eh, se me congeló la pantalla, entonces me tuve que salir, me dijo que esperara o que cerrara el programa, entonces lo cerré y volvió a entrar otra vez. Ok, si gustan practiquen aquí en la sala principal entonces, en lo que yo voy a la otra. Bueno. Aquí están, gracias. está Carlos, Marvin y Tito, right? Eso, gracias, teacher. Ok. Oh. Ok. Um, hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She is the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Now me and, and, and Robert. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like it to meet her. Now it's your turn, your first rover, and JC is going to be Raul. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called them, make. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I would I'd like to meet her. Now, okay. Marvin and you. Okay. Um, si quiere comience, Marvin. Marvin, can you start? Yes. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. She she went to a concert. Uy, espérame, espérame. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she could make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she with a woman wearing glasses or?
somebody have a problems with mm, some word? I think uh, have an opportunity when we say couldn't. Couldn't? Yes. Yeah, couldn't. It's correct. Couldn't. Yeah. Or oh, she couldn't make it. Yeah. So that means that she um couldn't go to the place. She couldn't make it. Okay. And I think we have an opportunity when oh I like it. I like to meet her. I I I is I would. Is the abbreviation uh, for I would. Yes. Hmm? It's I'd. I'd, yeah. Yeah, that's the correct form. I'd, I'd. Okay, we're going to have some participants to role play the conversations, okay? Oh, uh, wait. This is not the one. This is the one, right? Let's see. I'm going to ask Marvin and Roberto, okay? Marvin, okay. you start. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one in Jean. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, thank you very much. So just repeat here, couldn't. 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 Okay, excellent, thank you. Let's go now with Carlos and Tito. Carlos Enrique, you start. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'll like to meet her excellent good job couldn't yes excellent thank you good job let's go now with maximiliano and i think only well let's see jc jc yeah that will be jc correct okay hi roll good to see you where's maggie oh she couldn't make it she went out to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, excellent. You did a good job, you guys. Thank you very much for that. Okay. So as you know here, couldn't is um like an adverb that is uh can in the past, but in this case is like a no pudo venir, right? Because we're talking about the past. So she couldn't make it. So she couldn't go to the place, it means. And then we have air, the other one that was Carlos asking me, right? Air. This is the abbreviation for I would, right? I would. And as you know, the word is the ear for the for the words, right? Uh, like I would like, me gusta aria, right? That ear is the part that would adds to the to the verb. Now, let's continue. We're gonna, gonna continue here with a specific topic that is modifiers and prepositions. Okay. So we're going to listen to this explanation and then I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about it, okay? Let's go. Uh, 
own. Wait, <laughs> what happened? Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay, so what the person here is explaining is the following. So uh, to talk about like adjectives and to give more information about a person. So we say, for example, who's Raul? He's the man. And then if we use a participle, you can see that we have here a verb with ing. But in this case, it's not a verb. In this case, it's an adjective because verbs can be adjectives when you add ing to them, okay? So he's the man wearing a green shirt. So it, we are describing that this person is wearing or has uh, a green shirt. And when we use it with the participle, it says that we only add the extra information next to it. Like he's the one talking to Liz. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Now, when you're gonna add more information, not with a participle, you're gonna add more information with a preposition. Prepositions are with, in, next to, on, uh, behind, uh, on. I don't know, all those prepositions of places near, between, all the prepositions, right? So we add the extra information using she's the woman with con short black hair, right? I can use this one. Let's see. The one that says wearing a green shirt, I'm going to make it with a preposition, but I'm going to change it, okay? With a preposition is like with a participle is he's wait a second he's the man he's the man wearing a green shirt but if I use it with a preposition it will be different I will say it he's the man with the green shirt. green shirt, okay? So I'm saying the same thing, but with two different sentences. He's the man wearing a green shirt. So this one is a participle. And he's the man with the green shirt. This is a preposition. So I can add extra information about the people I'm talking about with participles or with prepositions, okay? So based on that, we're gonna do the next exercise. Let's do it together. Okay, it says, choose the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions correctly. So Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. What will be the correct option? Clara is the tall guy wearing bottom-down shirt and cargo pants. Clara is the tall guy wears a bottom-down shirt and cargo pants. What do you think is the correct sentences for this? The first, the first one, right? Excellent. Let's go with number two. Adam and Luz are the good-looking, good-looking. I'm sorry, the good-looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Luz are the good 
looking couple talking to Tom. Adam and Luz is the good looking couple talking to Tom. First one. Okay. Line is the young girl. She is in strip t-shirt and blue jeans. Line is the young girl in strip t-shirt and blue jeans. Line is the young girl in stripples in stripes t-shirts and blue jeans. The first one. First, first one. Oh, it seems like all are the first ones. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. What? What is the difference in this one? What? It's the same sentence, isn't it? It's the same. Yeah, it's <laughs> the same home. sentence. What? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, well, we're going to choose that one. If it's not, it's not that one, then it's this one. AJ is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new Satsa CD. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to. Again, no, no, no. These ones are different. Okay, so which one is it? The first one. The first. first one. Let's check. All of them? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to ask you to help me read the sentences, please, the correct sentences. Uh, Tito, can you help me with the number one, please? Okay, sure. Um, Clarissa told guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Can you repeat this word? Shirt. 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 Okay, excellent. Robert. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Roberto, can you help me with number two, please? Roberto? Adam and Luz are the good looking couple. Couple. They are talking to Tom. Okay. Couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Marvin? Um, mm -hmm. Lynn is the young girl in a strip t-shirt and blue jeans. Can you repeat this word? Girl. Girl, okay. Stripped? Strip. Stripped. Stripped. Yeah, correct. Good job. Carlos Enrique, can you help me with this one? Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Can you repeat this one? Can you repeat this word, Carlos, please? Woman. 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 Okay, thank you. Uh, and let's see now. Maximiliano, can you repeat, uh, can you say the number five, please? Okay. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. Excellent. Thank you very much. So in this case, uh, if you did it here in the class or if you did it by yourselves, so we have completed the section one, that section four, I mean, and now we should be going to section five. So I hope that you're working on the platform and that you have, um, like, like you are, in the same page, right? Like we are on the same page. So we can finish tomorrow, okay? I would like to finish tomorrow. So on Saturday, we just come here and do like a review, okay? I already finished all. Oh, amazing. That's that's good. That's excellent. That's amazing. Excellent. I hope everybody is doing the same, right? By tomorrow is the, 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 the day. Let's listen to this. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh. Well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. 
Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, I'm gonna read it one more time. People in New Orleans. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, I'm going to read it one time. If you have questions about pronunciation or meanings, you can ask me. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? I'm sorry, no lo dije bien. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, questions about pronunciation or meanings? No questions? Okay, so I'm gonna send you an audio so we can practice this conversation too. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Remember, if you have questions, you can always listen to the audios again, okay? Okay. There we have it. Okay, hopefully, today we're not going to have, right now we're going to have problems, okay, with the breaker rooms because we had problems. Okay, let's see. Wait a moment. Okay, let's go.
to do the same problem again. Hello. Tito, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Tito, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I hear you. Okay, okay. So, did you have the problem again? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I can uh, connect you. To the breaker rooms? Yes, sir. Okay, let's try one more time. Si no puede, voy a traer a sus compañeros acá. Thank you. Oh, I've already done that too. Have you reading in a street car? There are a lot of fun. Reading. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take easy my feet. You, I've already done that too. I've already done that too. I already done that too. Yes. 
Have you riding in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Rhythm. Repeat. Sorry, rhythm. Yes, yes. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Have you ridden in a street? Hello, welcome back. So we're gonna do a reading of this conversation. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have Juan Carlos and Roberto. Okay, Juan Carlos, you start. The microphone, Juan Carlos. I'm sorry. It's great <laughs> to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that show, I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take easy. My feet are killing me. 
Okay, excellent, you guys. Thank you very much. Let's give them an applause. Good job. Okay, just a uh, few corrections. Here, uh, already, riverboat, already again, reading, how, that's how. Y aquí tenemos que decir el it, so take it, take it. Take it easy, take it easy, okay? But thank you very much, excellent. Let's go with the next uh, couple. They're gonna have Carlos and en... Maximiliano. Okay, Carlos, you start. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Mm, I already done that too. Have you riding, have you reading, sorry, have you reading in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, you guys. Okay, so listen, just read them, but he corrected himself. Si luego se corrigió el solito. <laughs> so it's okay. Okay, listen, we're going to do right now, this is the last activity we're going to do. We're going to do a similar conversation, okay? A similar conversation, but with information from El Salvador, okay? Information from El Salvador. So, for example, I can say, it's great to see you, um, I don't know, Marcos. Have you been in San Salvador or have you been in, in El Salvador long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a pupuseria yet? <laughs> it can be an example, right? I can change it. Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about uh, a tour from for uh, a tour downtown, San Salvador downtown, okay? In the Centro Histórico, ¿verdad? In the historic downtown. I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a, in a boat, right? And uh, uh, andado en bote, en, en lancha. They are a lot of fun, okay? So the same conversation, but changing things related to El Salvador. Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. So we're just gonna rewrite it, okay. Let's see. Okay, let's do it. Roberto, you have the invite? So we can go there.
already done to oh I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? La Ruta de las Flores? There are a lot of them. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Now, Marvin, can you start with Jay-Z? Okay. <coughs> um, it's great to see you, Jay-Z. How you been in San Salvador long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Es como... Sí, es. Uh -huh. Let's do it. For the teacher to check. You go first. Robert, you begin. Hmm? You begin. Let's do it. It's great to see you, Todd. Uh, Maximilian, <laughs> how you been in San Salvador long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a pupuseria? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about um, a, a street combat bus? Sure. No, it, that's not what. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. it's San Salvador downtown tour. Yeah. Oh, I already done that too. Have you ridden a, a street conga bus? Actually, there are a lot the... of them. <laughs> it's dark already here okay so um well your classmates don't want to come here they don't want to leave no se quieren ir todavía los classmates okay okay you guys so that was it for today and i will see you tomorrow remember we only have two more classes tomorrow and then again on saturday and then that's it okay okay have a good a good rest of the afternoon. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.